is Jurassic Guest. Here today we are playing Trigon Space Story. Let's go ahead and start the tutorial. This game is coming out in Q2, so it'll be in like in the middle of this year or so. They don't have an exact date yet, but definitely something that might be worth checking out. You were an admiral at one of the largest federal fleets. Out in the middle of the warfare against the alliance and extracting colonies, you find yourself cut from the main fleet in one of the invaded sectors. Death is inevitable, but an admiral must never surrender without a fight. Don't check it out, guys. They know who they are messing with. Welcome on board the Sensory Hawk. Wait. The what? Welcome on board the Sensory Hawk. You are the captain and your crew can't wait to execute your commands. The training scenario will teach you the basics of steering the ship and commanding the crew. Okay. Uh, your available energy correlates to your level of your reactor. The icons in the bottom toolbar show the symptoms of your ship. The symptoms consume the energy produced by the reactor. You can regulate the amount of consumed energy by left and right mouse buttons. Okay. These icons are subsystems of your ship. The subsystems don't consume the energy of the reactor and the slots under each of them show the levels. Point your cursor at the system or subsystem to see the detailed information about them. Each system and subsystem occupies a ship module. If the ship is damaged, a system can run out of order. If there is a crew member in the module, it's the system gets a particular bonuses. The top toolbar contains the current level of your hull strength and the strength scale of your shield. The shield is used to protect the hull from the weapon shots. If the level of your shield drops down to zero, it means your ship was destroyed. This is the number of days your adventure. Please note that a journey from one system to another takes one game day. One game day is also gone if you activate waiting time in the system. This toolbar displays your main resources. Point the cursor at the resources you want to learn more about. That's pretty cool. It's not uh, too in your face, but it just, you know, sort of adds it over there. That's I like that. You shouldn't stay here too long. You must fly on. To do this, you need to turn on hyperdrives. Use your left mouse button to click on the hyperdrive system icon and redistribute the energy from the reactor to the hyperdrive system. A short circuit has damaged the hyperdrive. The system cannot turn on. It is blah, blah. The whole of your ship will get some damage too if a missile hits its already broken system. Your crew can repair the hyperdrive. To make this happen, choose a unit by left clicking on him and select the unit. Okay. So you go there. Uh, you? There. There we go. So Yulia is going to go over there into repair mode. Your units will automatically repair the systems, extinguish the fire, seal the holes, and fight the wrongdoers at the same module. Now you're tasked to repair the hydro for drive. By the way, about the crew, each crew member is unique and has their own weaks and strong points. Select a unit from the side menu to learn the unit specialization characteristics. Okay. The unit characters can be found in the upper part of the toolbar. They include the following parameters, speed of movement, damage at two modules, damage to other units, the amount of oxygen consumed, the amount of oxygen supplied consumed, and speed of repairs. If your unit has specializations, they are displayed in the lower part of the toolbar. Specializations are used full skills that a unit develops while operating this or that module. To learn more about your crew, click on the ship management button and choose the crew tab. What? Can I like... We just start listening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, did we just pause it? In this menu, you can learn more about your crew. Apart from their specializations and characteristics, unit boasts particular perks that are advantageous and disadvantageous abilities. Try to gather crew compromise at the most Exquisite specialist, it will help you gain victory. Alright, so we'll close that out. There's a fire in one of your modules. Alright, well, you're not doing anything, so fix it. You, ma'am. Uh, we'll just stick you over here for now. Harry, keep on doing what you're doing. Oh, is she going to die? You're not supposed to stand on the fire. Yeah, we already fixed it. 
Your crew can put out fire. However, this time let's do it using our... <laughs> right. Now it's time to move on. To make a hyperlap, you need to charge the hyperdrive. In order to... Hyperdrive to start charging, a pilot is required on the captain's bridge. Man, we're good at this. You can tell who the captain is by a small icon with a star next to him. The captain is the heart of your ship. If the captain's health drops to zero, the game is over. This is your current bounty level. With each alternation of day and night, as well as due to particular actions you perform, your bounty level increases. An increase in the bounty level leads to an increase in hazardous level in the sector. With stronger enemies appearing, there are stronger enemies mean stronger weapons and more resources as well. This bounty level comprises of two parts, the global level and the local level. The global bounty level is independent of your current location and the location one correlates to the sector you got in it. it. Seems you are at a high profile guy now, so it's time to move towards the neighboring sector. To make a leap into another system, click on the hyper leap button in the bottom toolbar. Please note that on each hyper leap you spend fuel and supplies. If you run out of fuel, you'll get stuck in the system. Only thing left will be to cry for help. Oh, good. This is Star Map that is used to travel between systems and to pin your current location. This map is divided into sectors. When you move from one sector to another, it can change your bounty level. If the local bounty level in a new sector is lower, it can gain you some precious time. Move towards the adjacent sector. Move to. Oh. I think they added that in a couple times. <laughs> So we're just going to zerp over here, like a so. Upon arriving to the system, you notice an alliance ship that is cut adrift from the main fleet. Despite the strong superiority of your ship, the weapons, and probably even the crew, it decides to attack you. Blue options will be available to you if you have a particular perks, weapons, or upgrades. As a rule, they always lead to positive outcomes. Huh? I'm confused here. So is this like talking your way out of it and that's attacking? You need to turn on your weapons. Click the left mount on the weapon icon in the bottom toolbar. The amount of energy needed to charge a weapon is shown in the respective weapon icon. You can also turn the weapon off by clicking the right mouse button on the icon. Click the left mouse button on the turned on weapon and use the same mouse button to choose the module in the enemy ship you would like to fire at. Each weapon takes time to get ready to release the weapon and make a short shot as it's ready. Do that and do something like that. Tactical pause control buttons are located in the top right corner of the screen, but there is also a space button for the convenience now and pause the game. Wait for your weapons to load and make a shot. I think I heard something. Oh, really? Thank you, Harry. <laughs> uh, what? Great, now teach the bastards how to fight and destroy the ship. Would you just get out of that stupid room before you guys suffocate? <laughs> uh, this looks like the infirmary, so maybe she'll heal here. Oh, yeah. Alright, so you're doing that. This guy... Where do I mean defense? I assume, uh, so I assume this is attack. Maybe that's healing and that's defensive. So if we have you and put you into the defensive, do the attack. Do you want to attack in the same place again? Apparently we do. <laughs> nice. Your weapons and your crew help you turn the enemy ship into space junk. Luckily, the items from your cargo hold and some weapons of the ship remain intact. You take the most valuable pieces on their intact weapons and get ready to move on. Your weapons... Uh, blah, 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 we already read that. 150 scrap. Under rocket launcher. Laser cutter. You got some new weapons. Please note that they do not equip... The ship automatically to install them you need to put them into your weapon slots click on the ship management click on over here 
Drag and drop, like a so, bam! In this window, you can upgrade your systems and reactor, increase the capacity of your cargo hold and repair your ship. To make any of these actions, you need a particular amount of scrap of metal. Upgrade your armory module and your reactor to continue. Click accept once you are done. Bam! Remember to turn on your guns before jumping. Wait, what? Why would... Remember to turn on your guns before jumping. Please note that the weapons have different capabilities and characteristics. For example, your rocket launcher needs ammunition to make shots at the same time it can penetrate enemy ships. Your laser inflicts very low damage to the shields, however a single shot can hit several ships at a time. It's time to go on. A final battle is waiting for you. Open the stellar map and choose a system to move on. Okay, so we are here. Are we supposed to? Looks like we have to go to Dubby. Um, <laughs> is that a negative? Oh, we did something. Time to demonstrate what you learned. Show that the Federation never surrenders without a fight. Let's have a blast and go big. If it's our last time, guys. Alright, so we want all weapons on. Well, let's see here. Are we only able to do one weapon at a time? And let's see here. So they got... So our captain's down there. Well, uh, she's repairing right now. So, she, are you not actually? Oh, did I just kill her. I'm clicking on it. Oh, great. Enemy seems to be much stronger than expected. <laughs> the situation seems to be a no-win one. You can try to escape. To do this, with we'll wait until your hyperdrive is fully charged and click on the hyperleap button. Your hyperdrive is charged and ready to start, and you click on the button and run away. Click on the neighboring system. Oh, that's what I was trying to go there to begin with. I accidentally killed our crew member, though. You successfully hyper jumped and left the war zone. Contact with the enemy's lost. The hyperdrive is charging. Despite the desperate struggle, the Federation lost the battle. The Alliance of the Extracting Company seized the galaxy to create a new governmental structure called the New Reign. The whole galaxy is split under their control. Hard times create stronger people, and in the darkest periods in history of the universe, there always are people who lead all the races, standing up to the un spurs and helping break the galaxy from the lion's bounds. And it might be... Who is that savior of the galaxy? Congratulations, you have just completed the tutorial to training. Your knowledge is enough to begin your adventure and cover the mystery of the galaxy. Tough trials are waiting for you, though. Stay strong. Oh, sweet. All right, guys, that is Trigon. We'll definitely be checking this out. I just wanted to make sure to get the tutorial done because it looked like it was a game with like a whole bunch of different things. But it looks pretty cool so far. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.